Hello. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating congruence using rigid motions. I'm going to be using reflections, rotations, and translations. Under the Common Core State Standards for Mathematics, students are to be able to think about congruent figures using transformations. Here are the expectations in 8th grade and in high school geometry. What we're going to be doing is taking two congruent figures and exhibiting the congruence between them by finding a sequence of transformations. I'm going to be utilizing GeoGebra. Here I have a triangle on the left, which is red, and a triangle on the right, which is blue. I think I'm going to try to transform the blue triangle onto the red triangle first thing I need to do is label these so that I can talk about them. So I'm going to use my polygon tool and I'm going to label this figure over here. I'm also going to label the other triangle. The first thing I want to do is look at the orientation. In my original triangle I have ABC going around the figure in a counterclockwise manner. The same corresponding points, in other words, point R, which is the smallest angle, to point S, which is the largest angle, to point T, which is the medium-sized angle. RST is actually clockwise in this particular figure. This means orientation has been reversed. This means I need to use at least one reflection, maybe even three reflections. So my first transformation, I think, is going to be a reflection. I'm going to reflect, and I'm going to make it so that A ends up on top of point R. In order to do that, I need to construct the perpendicular bisector of segment AR. I'm going to do that now. Now I'm going to do the reflection. So now I have my original triangle reflected to A prime, B prime, C prime. Now the only thing I need to do is rotate. I'm going to rotate this so that B prime ends up on S, C prime ends up on T. Now, I do not want this point to move because R and A prime are already matched up. So this is going to be my center of rotation. The angle that I'm going to need to rotate is this angle from B prime to R to S. So I'm going to define that angle. Now I'm ready to do my rotation. I'll get my rotation tool. and it says I need to click the object, then the center point, then the angle. This is the object. This is my center point. And the angle that I want to do is angle alpha. And I am going to do it counterclockwise. Now I have completed the sequence A double prime B double prime, C double prime matches up with triangle R, S, T. Have a great day.